Right, now you should have a better understanding of uh, alkaline water and which type of alkaline water you want to use to treat your gout. Alright, as long as you use alkaline water uh, as a treatment to kill your gout, then you do expect a uh, healing crisis to happen. And depending on how long you are, you are, you are having gout, so the longer you, you, you have been having gout or the more your acid is stored in your body, then the more severe the healing crisis is. So my advice to you is to to start with a mild alkalinity. For example, it's a one one bottle, one big bottle. You just squeeze one or two, or two or three squeeze drops of uh, calcaline. So it produces a pH about uh, ten, around ten. Or if you are you worried, you want to start with a uh, lower alkalinity, then you just two two drops, or one or two drops. Then the pH about eight or nine, but not too low. Not too low. Uh, too low, then you may not experience uh, experience any result. So I advise uh, to drink at least um, uh, two, two to three liters per day, uh, depending how how active you are. If you 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 are a sportsman, you sweat a lot, then you may drink about four liters per day. But don't force yourself. Slow and steady. So you some people they they want to get rid of gout fast, so they drink water the whole day and drink and drink. No no, don't do that. Just go natural, slow and steady, right? Alright, um, among the hearing crisis you are going to experience is the first one is joint pain. This kind of joint pain is different from your typical gout attack because usually gout attacks uh, it will jump around, right? And this time it's, it's on the left leg, next round is on the left foot, uh, right foot, so it jumps around. But when you drink alkaline water, especially calcaline, we will pull, we will weaken, you will wake up the hidden uric acid in the joint. That has been hidden for years. The stronger the alkalinity, the stronger the the the, the shaking or, or the the awakening process. So you 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 don't you don't you don't want that. Just go slow and steady. Start with the mild alkalinity, pull bit by bit. At least the channel here have to be clear first. Otherwise, you wake up the ghost, and then there's no way to go, and then you will suffer very serious pain, <laughs> worse than your typical. Uh, gout attack so this is a joint, joint pain the way to manage it is to start with low ph start with the mild one how to judge especially for calcaline because it's purely from calcium calcium has a taste has a fishy bitter taste so if you add the calcaline powder uh, depending on your bottle or you want to add to the glass so you you find a way after you you use it for a while you know how to control the ph already it's by taste uh, so as long as you taste slight alkaline, slight fishy or bitter, that's enough already. If you add more, then the fishy is too strong, then it's a bit too high for your body to take. And the funny thing about the strange thing about calcaline is different people taste uh, different differently. So for a healthy person, you usually uh, the taste is bitter sweet. For those people do, who do not have uh, acidic problem, the taste of calcaline water is bitter sweet. So uh, if, you, if you taste bitterness and strong fishy taste, that means your body is very acidic. So based on taste, you, 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 will, get the, you will get the hang of it after, after you drink for a while. So not too strong. So start with a mild one, then you can reduce uh, the onset of joint pain. Uh, to be honest, you cannot avoid that. It will, it will come, it's just that how severe it is. Try to minimize it by starting with the low uh, low pH and uh, low alkalinity and then slowly increase the but just in case the gout attack out of nowhere it's because they're pulling out you can take your your typical gout uh, pain 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 management pills like uh, NSAID or or even you can take caucasin to to manage it okay that is joint joint pain and then the next is the muscle pain All right let's like I mentioned in in the previous chapter when the uric crystal start to melt in the joint, they will start to travel out. So, and some of it, if you are slow black box type, the acid will stuck in this area, and then you have muscle pain. If to for that, you need to. My only advice is to use uh, tapping, tapping. If you have something like this, or you just tap with your hand fingers, it will be fine. But if you have something like this, it will be better. Uh, use your creativity. You can grab a bunch of chopstick. A thin chopstick and then you tap it there so that you can move the vibration will help to move the liquid out faster so that was will help to manage joint pain or you can do some yoga because yoga is like it's like 
twitching uh, or squeezing your muscle layer so that it squeeze it's just imagine this is sponge you yoga is, is squeezing it, it will squeeze and you pull it will squeeze the acid out back to the bloodstream so that it, it the flushing process happens faster and way it's tai chi saying it's about uh, it's about improving the dynamic of this area and another thing is uh, soak your feet in warm water because um, uh, in you can improve the blood circulation the upward blood circulation because uh, uric acid usually gout happen at the foot right and you need to you need to uh, improve the outward blood flow to carry that carry the acid to the kidney so that it can be discharged out so by soaking your feet in warm water look warm water every night about 15 minutes it will improve the outward blood flow of uric acid uh, the blood that carry the uric acid to the kidney for discharge and then there's room for the new blood that carry alkaline water to the to the foot to for for neutralizing the uric acid all right and then uh, for some people they may experience diarrhea or constipation depends i i cannot tell you which one you expect or may not experience at all the reason for diarrhea is because your body has been taking meat for too long uh, so your body internal environment is your especially your intestine your intestine internal environment is uh, more acidic when you drink alkaline water and um, it's like a shock to the bacteria there so and your body try to flush out the bacteria so you will experience some diarrhea no worry it will only last for two or three days sometimes just one day or sometimes not experience at all whereas for constipation because um the water is absorbed in the colon and and for your know, your body has been starving for alkaline water for so long once they see the strong alkaline water it's like oh i like it then they, they're like dropping dropping the water from the intestine so it is uh, so dry that uh, your stool cannot come out so because your body is keep on absorbing the water the good water that has been waiting for years so it, there's nothing you can do you just drink more you drink more then as uh, as your body get at the main parts get enough of alkaline water then your intestine your your colon will get the water it needs to soften the stool for it to come down so no worry the constipation lasts a few days only all right another thing is dizziness and sleepiness you sleepy you feel sleepy uh, dizziness usually happen for people who have gout at the same time they have hypertension and or diabetes uh, because the, the blood is thick when you drink the, imagine the blood because of the sugar or hypertension the, the, the blood is very thick when you drink uh, ionic calcium or calcaline water the water becomes uh, uh, more soluble and penetration is better so it absorbs better so and the blood flow improves it's just like a rush of oxygen to your brain so the dizziness again it lasts one or two days if that happens and you feel uh, not so comfortable you can drink some vinegar or lemon or honey to to help to lower down effect it does work very well this tree it, it applies to all these these are the these are the thing you can do to improve the blood flow to minimize the healing crisis these are the thing that you can eat or drink to help to minimize the healing crisis like I mentioned before vinegar and lemon they have a lot of good good organic acid and it can buffer it can it can hold the ionic calcium and then it as serves as a temporary buffer so that the alkaline won't won't go rush and impact and 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 bang on the uric acid in the body as at least you have something to buffer it's soften up it's like a damper it's like a, a absorber to, uh, to absorb the impact of alkaline water to your acidic body so it can it can smoothen out the healing process right and dizziness and sleepy sleepy because uh, usually happens to people who who are late sleepers or had, uh, who did not have uh, enough sleep all the while and um, uh, the thing about ionic calcium or calcaline is that is if you dig out your problems even those you don't know so, so if you lack of sleep when you start to drink alkaline water uh, calcaline water uh just just like it the, the it will ask your body to 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 um to pay back uh the water to, to to pay back the sleep okay another thing is um uh increased sweating because the penetration is better uh the the penetration is better the water flow is better so you will increase sweating you have more sweating happen uh, it's normal after, usually after one or two weeks you drink alkaline water and then frequent hunger because 
um, your blood not only uh, calcaline is not specifically for gout it's as a health supplement to improve overall body and flush out the acid because there's less acid and the cell is more active your metabolism increased and you your the level you burn energy is faster that's why you you need more don't worry go ahead and eat you won't you won't grow fat it, as a matter of fact you will lose weight as well because your metabolism improved and the blood flow and everything the dynamic in your body improved overall you will lose weight and then skin irritation skin irritation because um uh, there are there are layers um that means like for this um, example there are acid or toxic store in the in the muscle layer or tissue uh, the interstitial fluid when you start to drink alkaline water it's time to flush out they will try to look for shortcut to flush the acid out the toxic out so one of the channel is through the skin which they start through the skin it's okay you may see some itchiness or some people will have rashes don't worry it will go away after a few days so if you worry then don't scratch it don't scratch it you just take warm water shower and then it will help to speed up the the the, the flushing so these are the common healing crises I, I i i saw and i heard from my clients all, all the years you will experience one either one of it or maybe all of it hopefully not so don't, nothing to worry about it and it's normal it's a good sign and just relax if you have any question you can always contact me uh, to to get the advice or to get assurance because you need someone to walk along with you because if if you don't expect this thing or you you you, you will have doubts then you may give up halfway don't give up this this method works calcline works and uh, just one box is enough to show very obvious result already but just don't give up be patient persevere and you'll be amazed by the results